Hello everyone, I am Melinda Nail Fanatic, and this is a personal romance reading for my Aries supporter. Thank you so much for choosing me to do this reading for you. And so first off from this deck I want to read about what is the most likely outcome for a long-term romance with the individual that you're currently dating right. and of course taking into consideration your highest and greatest good so I'm going to shuffle the deck and um, I'm going to just deal one card at first and then see how it feels from there. Because I believe that the one card is going to give us the answer. Was the potential for a long-term, long-lasting, loving, romantic relationship between my Aries and the Libra that they're currently dating? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Love Source God for allowing me to re receive and deliver the divine messages of truth for my viewer for their highest and greatest good so that they may know you know the situation you know that they've been together for over two years almost three years now and my Aries viewer really wants to know was the potential for a long term long lasting romance between Himself and the Libra person they're dating. One card. Help me see. Truth. For my viewers highest and greatest good I'm feeling this card here we have the ten of wands for me with that coming up here I really feel like it means that this relationship like it's achieved its maximum Ten means the ending of a cycle. So I want to, I really want to leave that there because I don't want to spend up all your time when you 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 know that that's what you want that this person to be, but you already also from your words led me to see that you already knowing like this is probably not going to be the long lasting relationship that you're wanting. I see with that Ten of Wands there, the end of the cycle. Okay, and to further confirm, the bottom of the deck is giving us the Eight of Cups. And this is a, about moving on to bigger and better things, things that are more emotionally satisfying. Realizing that you've invested a lot emotionally into the current situation, but it is time to move on. And I feel like you already knew that. I really feel that you've already known that just from our brief communications that we've had already. So I'm gonna set these aside, and I wanna spend the rest of the time that I do this video for you. I wanna focus in on what is coming in for you. What is coming in for my viewer in the romantic love life for the highest and greatest good of my viewer? Thank you, thank you, thank you, love source God, for giving us this advice. What is the highest and greatest good for my viewer in regards to their romantic love life? Thank you, thank you, thank you, love source God, for allowing me to receive these divine messages. What is the highest and greatest good for my viewer regarding their romantic love life? What is the best course of action? What can they expect? Help me to receive and deliver these messages for my viewers 
highest and greatest good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord Source God, for allowing me to speak the messages that are of the most, uh, most importance regarding my viewers. Love life, romantic love life. We all want somebody we can be with long term. Somebody we can truly love and receive love back. And so in shuffling this deck and pulling from these cards, my mouth will speak and my eyes will see and my third eye will receive the messages that are for the highest and greatest good of my viewer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We realize that things don't always come the way we hope they do or the way we think they are. So thank you for showing through this message. What more we can expect. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Scott. Amen. So, I feel like doing this, I keep in my mind, because I didn't really plan out how I wanted to do your reading. I'm kind of letting spirit just guide me through this. And I'm feeling the seven card gypsy spread right now. So that's what I will be pulling for you. So, one, two, you're talking to me, three, and then four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm gonna put these together and set them aside for now. And then I'm going to set these also over here for the moment. And I'm going to shuffle this deck and also um, thank you, thank you, Love Source God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Love Source God for allowing me to receive the words that will be most beneficial for my viewer to receive at this time regarding the romantic love that is on their mind. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Love Source God, for allowing me to receive and deliver his messages of divinity, accuracy, and truth from my viewer in regards to their romantic love life. What they can expect to live, see, and experience, words of advice, words of encouragement, words of direction that will spark to their intuition to help them see what is the best course in their romantic love life for them at this time? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is my personal word deck that I've created. I would love to create one for any viewers who would like to request their own custom word deck just email me and we can make it happen okay one more cut and then i'm going to spread them and pull like i have for the two previous decks and let's see what word spirit wants us to Focus on for your highest and greatest good regarding romantic love life. This one is sticking out to me immediately, so put these together, put them aside. We'll save this for later on, and right now let's pull these that we pulled already. So, the past, the present, what's hidden, the challenge. External influences and other people, your best course of action, and most likely outcome. So, first off, in the past situation, we have healing. So, this is also the star card, and this is dealing with you breaking loose from some hindering situations. You've already dealt with your devils. You've already learned some inner balance. And so 
you're breaking free from some past restrictive situation and you're healing yourself and you're moving into this place of greater clarity uh, and when I'm ta thinking in romance in particular I'm thinking that you may have in the past been bound to some difficult relationship somebody who was very um, demanding overbearing um, possibly even abusive to you and uh, you have moved out of that situation and in moving out of that situation you also clarified what type of relationship you do desire for yourself so that's a beautiful thing and in the present we have detach this is card 11 this is about this is about justice this is about releasing yourself from a cold situation so you can move on it's time to let go of what has been going on so you were in a healing before you had some clarification now it's time to let go but what's hidden is that you are at a place for new beginning this is equivalent to the new eight of i'm sorry the two of wands and so with this card here is saying spread your wings begin to make plans really visualize what type of relationship you want and don't accept anything outside of what you truly want you know what type of relationship suits you best go for that allow it to come in because that's what the universe has for you that's what's hidden the challenge is nurturing the challenge is that you must nurture yourself and not always nurturing everyone else first people from your past will continue to cling on to you when you're nurturing them so well because everybody loves to be nurtured and spirit is saying here to me please spend some time and energy nurturing yourself at this point in time the external influences is there's somebody who's feeling sad and alone there's um, people who are using their isolation to try to cling to you and using guilt to try to bring you back your best course of action is to focus on what you want and with the sacral chakra meditation is a good idea on sacral chakra and for you um, focus on your own desires your own joys your own passion and also uh, your own emotions and realize making sure that where you're putting your emotions and your sexuality that you're receiving back what you're wanting in in exchange for that so those words can play many different ways and I'm just receiving that you need to focus on how you want to let those words play for you but your best course of action is to really stick to what you what you want in having moved out of the past situations it's time for you to really focus on what your true desires are and the most likely outcome is observe this is a card that to me right now is uh, symbolizing you're going to be looking at all of your different options and deciding what you want. I feel like it's a time for you to really date for a little while because what you're going to see is all these different people that you're getting to know. And I'm not saying you have to sleep around, but as you get into know these different people, they're going to help you see more about what you want and as you continue to leave alone situations and ones that are not reflecting to you the type of relationship that you want the type of dealings that you want to have in a relationship then you're allowing for divinity to bring what you want to you and so I would say at this time too another message that I'm getting for you is to shine in in your firmness of who you are and allow others to come to you wow the word that came in for you is positioning you are being put in a position for great things to happen so this reading is very self-empowering and I don't believe that you will be long alone very long I believe that if you stick to what you want and do not give in 
then the relationship you want is coming to you because there are more people looking at you than what you realize is what I, another message I'm getting here. You need to, your best course of action is stick to what you truly want and settle for nothing less. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours and of course me and mine. Until next time.